Welcome back to True Blue. The women's volleyball team is off to their slowest start in three years, but don't panic just yet. They're still nationally ranked at 23rd, and they have a 10-4 and record. Tracy Sandberg talked to the team to see what their outlook is on the season. And they're back. After spending most of September away from Provo, the Cougars are excited to get back to their home turf. The Smithfield House boasts one of the nation's largest attendance records for women's volleyball, and the fans don't go unnoticed by the players. We have the best fans at BYU. We've always said that. Um, the Smithfield House is the best place, place to play uh, because we just like the atmosphere. Our fans come out, they cheer for us. Um, they're there the whole time, whether we're winning or we're losing, and they really do have an effect on um, how we play. They're the greatest fans, I think, in, in the nation. They come out, they support us, they're yelling and screaming for us, and they, they can help us pull our heads out when we need to. The Cougars will play five of their seven games in October in Provo, and the Smith Fieldhouse is looking good. Thanks in large part to the fans, the Lady Cougs have dominated, winning 50 of 56 home games in the past five years. Oh, our fans are tremendous. Uh, this is an intimidating place to play. Uh, no uh, school that I know of can get their fans as close to the action as we've been able to do. And so their presence is a big factor in the outcome of matches. The Lady Cougars have had 10 away games and only four home games on the season. And some of those road opponents have been tough, including losses to Stanford and number 17 Cal Poly. But Law and Coach Watson said it was a good experience to be on the road, and they're optimistic about the rest of the season. Uh, earlier in the year, we played some, uh, some difficult teams on the road to challenge our team in order to prepare for this conference season. We want to be at our peak at the end of the season, and so right now um, we're kind of looking at it as kind of working out the kinks a little bit, um, and we just want to be able to keep getting better every match we play, every day in practice, um, so that by the end of the season we're at our prime. Lott, Goodman, and Coach Watson said that this year the Mountain West Conference will be tough, but they are most excited to play their in-state rival Utah, a team they've only beat once since 2001. I'm really excited to get matched up against Utah. I know our, our team's very excited to play against them. You know, we'll come out on top, you know, but, but it'll be, it'll, it's always, as always, it's a fun match to play. After losing some valuable players last year, like Kim Wilson and Lindsey Hartsock, Coach Watson depends on the veterans to help the younger players cope with the pressure in conference play. We never can replace them. We just hope that other people will be in a position to uh, learn the lessons that they have learned to help our team uh, be successful down the road. Tracy Sandberg, BYU Sports Network. Thanks, Tracy. We'll see if the Cougs' tough schedule pays off for them in the postseason.